Tonight, we have new developments in that Gilbert home invasion that has sent shutters through the East Valley community. An intruder broke into a house and strangled a man to death late at night just last weekend. The attack appears random. And the 73-year-old victim, Frank Bernal, belonged to a prominent pioneering family of Gilbert. Team 12's Joe Dana joins us now with the latest on the investigation. For those who want justice in this case, what makes it so frustrating is that Gilbert police already made an arrest the night of the murder. But the county attorney's office sent the case back to police and said they needed more evidence. The man arrested is now free. He just punched a hole in the front door, um, broke the glass, uh, tried to break in, didn't. This vape shop's door has been replaced, but this was just the beginning of a night of violence by a man who was allegedly drinking at the popular Cogburn's bar walked next door where he broke the glass door, then left a trail of blood over a quarter of a mile that led right to the house where 73-year-old Vietnam veteran Frank Bernal lived. Bernal was strangled and left to die. He comes from a family with roots dating back more than 100 years in Gilbert. Gilbert police arrested a man covered in blood that night in a nearby neighborhood. He was linked to being at the bar by a friend. But after his arrest for aggravated assault, burglary, and criminal damage, the county attorney's office told Gilbert police they needed more information. A spokesperson telling 12 News, because we didn't file charges, the suspect's release conditions are dropped, so he is technically free at this point. This does not mean that charges won't be filed in the future. Criminal defense attorney Michael Black tells 12 News it's not unheard of for the county attorney's office to let someone walk free after their arrest, then charge them days or weeks later. However, Black says those are usually less serious crimes. I've never seen a case this serious where they didn't have probable cause to file a charge. Black says one of two reasons could be causing a holdup, a lack of evidence linking the suspects to the crime. Or there's something going on that we know absolutely nothing about, wholly independent of the lack of evidence. Gilbert police are saying nothing about what might happen next as a family and community wait. Joe Dana, 12 News.